automatically that's what i had set it to but um, it didn't i think it is recording now okay ha huh. तो तो बेसिकली जो मशीन लर्निंग और सॉरी जो सेल्फ ड्राइविंग का इंटरेस्ट जो है जब मैं लिफ्ट में था तो दे हैड देयर ओन सेल्फ ड्राइविंग ग्रुप और दैट दैट्स द टाइम व्हेन सेल्फ ड्राइविंग स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग यू नो एन एन इंटरेस्टिंग फील्ड सो व्हाट आई डिड इज आई वेंट एंड स्टडीड सेल्फ ड्राइविंग फॉर अराउंड सिक्स मंथ्स और सो उसके लिए आई आई टुक अ कपल ऑफ कोर्सेज ऑन रोबोटिक्स एंड डीप लर्निंग सो मशीन लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस था but then deep neural networks i heard ke wo kafi use hote the then i i, I learned that and specifically self driving ka bhi there is a course in um udacity uh, ek uh, uh, online uh, uh, learning ek uh, tool hai usme there is a six month course for that so i i graduated from there as well um and then i interviewed for self driving teams uh, at uh, lift aur wahan se then i have been working mainly in their um uh, prediction team and i will go into more detail what does the prediction team does and where does that fit um prediction and motion planning team so that's pretty much what my journey has been so far um and um uh, and i would like to then let's now go into detail uh, a little bit in technical details of what that field is what does it mean to work on self driving cars what are the important things that uh, you know uh, challenges that we face during that and then we'll go to um q&a and then does that uh, and and uh, as noman said if you have any questions feel free to uh, put those questions in the comment section and uh, noman will be um formalizing the question at the end and then we'll be going through those uh, after the talk so yeah let me see if i can share my screen नुमान एक ये वेटिंग रूम में कुछ लोग हैं उनको मुझे एंटर करना होगा आई थिंक सो आई थिंक यू जस्ट एडमिट ऑल देयर शुड बी अ बटन देयर फॉर एडमिट ऑल जी आई जस्ट आई मीन नुमान यू कैन स्टिल रिमेन द होस्ट एंड ही कुड स्टिल शेयर द स्क्रीन एंड यू कैन कंट्रोल ऑल ऑफ दोस क्वेश्चंस एंड एवरीथिंग Uh, Usman, maybe you want to give the control back to me as the host. Sure, I'll do that. Um, Make me the host. Just click on my in the fast name and. Um, yeah, just do that. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. You can keep going and you can um, share a screen if you want and go ahead. Uh, I think uh, you need to enable screen sharing for me. Can you request? Can you request? Try screen share. It will send me a request. Um, no, it's not doing that. It's uh, saying host disabled attendee screen sharing. So. All right. You know what? I've made you the host again, so we can continue. I I don't want to disrupt the continuation. Yeah, that makes sense. Naman can you see my screen? Yes. Good. So okay. So let's start with the with the agenda first. So hum uh, we'll talk a little bit about what what exactly is a self driving car at a high level. We'll go a little bit detail into hardware but mostly we'll cover the software side of it. And then we'll talk a little bit about the industry where the industry is headed. Uh kaun kaun se players isme is waqt active hain. and um and then we'll go into some resources and if if you are interested in uh, in in uh, pursuing this uh, career in this field uh, how should go you go about it sabse pehle um when you hear about autonomous vehicle or self driving car what do you usually um you know think the i'm i don't think a lot of people think of this car as a self driving car but technically this was the first ever self driving car which had a cruise control in it so cruise control is a feature if you are not familiar with which maintains the speed of the car so this uh, 1958 uh, 
model of Chrysler Imperial was the first ever car which uh, had that feature. But then you must be wondering that when you think about self-driving cars, you think of something fancy like this, um, which, which again is at this moment is a concept car. But that tells you the, some idea is that self-driving car is not a binary thing. Something is a self-driving or not. It's, it's a spectrum of uh, capabilities that make something um, self-driving. So for example, so today in the industry, I think this is uh, accepted that there are five levels of autonomy. And um, the, for the, we start from the very basic one where you, know, uh, you control one feature, for example, speed. That is the cruise control that we just saw that that's been there since 1950s. And then slowly you went uh, become more advanced and you say you can control the speed and you can also control the steering or you know, a couple of other features. And also then slowly you get towards a more autonomous. So then the control is uh, you know, slowly taken from a human and more and more things are being done by the, uh, you know, by the machine itself. Uh, or so level five is the full automation where a human does not need to get involved at all. So today, a B industry may, mostly we are at level two. There, um, uh, there are some uh, players which are getting into level three. Uh, so Tesla, I, if uh, you've heard of that name, so there's, they are somewhere in between two and three right now. Um, and then the uh, uh, companies that are production, they have prototypes. Hai. Waymo, Uber, Lyft, all, they are all, all somewhere between three and three and above, three, three and four, somewhere in between. Uh, so f five is, is very far ahead. Um, but, uh, but then again, five is not the only self-driving car. Any, anywhere in the spectrum is a self-driving car. And, um, and then jo, this is an ad, this is a real ad by them, which, which their, their feature of cruise control was actually called autopilot. And, um, and this is today where uh, Tesla, when the 2015 launched, it was also called autopilot. And then this is, you know, th that tells you okay, that the technology keeps uh, evolving. Um, but Aj, uh, Abhi, this is the, you know, these are the cars you see when you hear about self-driving cars. Top left way, this is a uh, uh, Waymo. Um, and then top right way, there's a Lyft ki gari hai. And then bottom left way, Cruise a GM ki hai. And then bottom right way, I wanted to show this interesting uh, thing as well. This is Zooks. Zooks is one of those companies who are, are trying to reinvent uh, the cars itself as well, not just uh, the software stack. They think that uh, the hardware of the car needs to drastically change as well. So how does this all work? How does the car drive itself? Um, so overall, this, these are a lot of boxes. These are different types of components. I picked, uh, you know, uh, the, most of the architectures will look very similar to this. So, um, but in order for you to, to me, uh, in order for me to explain, um, so you, what you can imagine is, let's say, uh, let's go through a story so that uh, it's not very different than what we humans do. And we try to mimic that. So let's say you wake up in the morning and then you want to go and have breakfast. So uh, you will use some of the sensors that you have, your eyes, your ears. And then what you will do is you will sort of localize yourself, which is that means that you are trying to figure out that exactly where in the world you are. That's called uh, localization. And the knowledge of the world is called mapping. So you know that in your house there's a bedroom and then there's a kitchen or roughly kitchen in which direction mein hai. and then you are in the bedroom. That's, that's mapping and localization. Then you actually look around and then you try to make sense of things. You, this is, and then you sort of create a very detailed 3D map of the world around you. So you are, uh, in, in addition to the blueprint of the house, which we just say, said, uh, saw in the previous uh, slide, Isme you actually see things joke blueprint many for example like kursi hai ek, uh, you you see th things object around you and then you will try to perceive ke exactly ye kya cheez hai kitna dur hai mujhse kitni badi hai uh, to this, this is called perception then you actually plan your motion you this is called simple motion planning ke aapne agar yahan se kitchen tak jana hai you will create a plan for yourself ke aap yahan se uthenge yahan se seedhe jayenge aage se left honge raste mein koi agar koi obstacle hai koi cheez hai aap uske around chalenge so this is all what uh, is called motion planning in the self driving world 
then once you decide uh ki aapne kahan jana hai then you just move your body parts you just move your hands and legs to actually perform that plan so those that's called controls so uh this is in a nutshell how a self driving car works that this cycle that i just said it repeats that cycle every you know one tenth of a second or one hundredth of a second um and humans also do very similarly so agar aap ye completely every instance every millisecond pe ye cheez karte rahenge then eventually you'll end up uh, where you want to be so this is what uh, uh, and the abhi jo hum sara hardware aur software padhenge will be very similar to this approach that we just discussed um the hardware mein uh, this is usually the what the the car uh, uh, looks like usme kafi sare sensors hain kuch we are familiar with like cameras of course there are multiple cameras aage front pe hota hai back pe rear so basically we want to get a good 360 view of the world around you and then um, there are a gps antenna hota hai uh, you, you guys might be familiar with that too uh lidar uh, sorry radar or lidars bhi hote hain so uh, i think radar bhi uh, some people are familiar with it uh, lidar is something new lidar is something that uh, you know uh, usually gaadiyon mein nahi hota um so and this is one of the most critical pieces of hardware of a self driving car and we'll go a little bit more detail into lidar specifically um and then uh or imu hota hai or then which uh, looks for calibration and uh, orientation of the car as well so so this jo bottom pe aap cheez dekh rahe hain is something that the lidar sees so lidar is simply called light detection and ranging um it's uh, uh, like uh, radar jo hai wo uh, or sonar for example sound se uh, dekhta hai lidar just is is sort of light se apne environment ko dekhne ki koshish karta hai what it does is uh, uses the concept of time of flight where it sends light um and then um a light bounce hoti hai cheezon se and when it comes back to you um and then it senses the light back coming back so the distance hota hai utna usme it it computes it tries to figure out that koi there is a thing uh, these many uh, you know meters away from me depending on the time it take for the light to come back so it does that for you know every you know 1/10th of a 100th of a millisecond and it throws that light all around it so agar you piche map dekhein to the the all the dots are all the light particles that are coming back and then usse it started to make sense of things around it um and then what top right pe jo hai wo these are the some of the shape uh, shapes of lidars that we see and if you see a self driving car the the first thing on the on the very top jo badi se wali cheez hogi which revolves around uh, rotates around that's uh, usually lidar so usman a couple of questions here at this point uh, mm-hmm. if you go back to the lidar mm-hmm. so radar has been around for a long time uh, uh, military mein har jagah uh, mm-hmm. radio sensing or uh, heat sensing ke upar wo uh, kaam karta hai to ye ye jo lidar hai mm-hmm. ye sirf ye self driving cars ke liye cheez ijad ki gayi hai ya ye iska koi aur bhi istemal tha aur now it's just that ke cars ne isko use karna shuru kiya hai नहीं नहीं इट्स बीन अराउंड सो लाइडार हैज बीन अराउंड फॉर फॉर सम टाइम और ये वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट यूज केसेस इसकी थी जो अगर आप टेरेन्स को जो अर्थ की टेरेन्स हैं उसमें पैटर्न्स देखने के लिए दे यूज टू सेंड एयरक्राफ्ट्स ऊपर एंड देन इट्स इट्स सेंस लाइट सो इट इट मैप्स अ वेरी डिटेल्ड वर्जन ऑफ द ऑफ द टेरेन्स के कहां पे पहाड़ है कहां पे डेप्थ है तो ये डेप्थ मैयर करने के लिए it use uh, uh, lidar has been used uh, even pani ke andar jo puri terrain map karne ke liye uh, lidar has been used in industry pehle bhi uh, self driving cars mein uh, uh, more recently use hua hai kyunki pehle it was more expensive and uska form factor bahut bada hota tha ab slowly iska form factor chhota hona shuru ho gaya hai aur cost slowly thodi si kam aana shuru ho gayi hai then now it's viable to use in a, in a, in a car as well और और दूसरा ये कि रेडार और ऑल दी सेंसर्स हैव देयर ओन कैपेबिलिटीज देयर ओन एक्सपर्टीज दिस फॉर एग्जांपल कैमरा है कैमरा इज अ वेरी हाई रेजोल्यूशन सेंसर इट्स वेरी चीप बट एट द सेम टाइम इट डज नॉट गिव यू डेप्थ इंफॉर्मेशन वेरी वेल यस यू कैन यूज टू और थ्री कैमरास टू गेट सम डेप्थ इंफॉर्मेशन बट इट्स नॉट इन अ वे एज नियर गुड एज एज लाइडार कैमरे का दूसरा प्रॉब्लम है कि कैमरा वेदर कंडीशन में नहीं चलता इट हैज टू हैव गुड लाइटिंग कंडीशंस Uh, lidar doesn't really care about the weather conditions 
और तो इसलिए सारे सेंसर देखते हैं For example, if you if you if you see a fruit and then you you see it visually and then you smell it and then you combine those information to figure out what is that. Uske um, baad, this is the back of the car. Usually, the, all these sensors that that data need to get into the car and we need to process that. Uh, so there's a lot of GPUs there. There's a lot of networking going on. A lot of storage there, um, and a lot of uh, heat sinks because uh, it gets very hot in the car as well uh, because because of this. So. um so this is you know th- this is a normal setup uh, usually kisi bhi chalne wale car ke piche front mein dekhenge currently today uh, it will be something like this so now let's go a little bit into the software side and again uh, same picture mai draw karunga it's uh, uh, th- there are multiple components you you start with sensing the world and then jab aap compute karte hain ye is a perception hoti hai motion planning hoti hai and then uh, jo uh, uh, top right pe there's you know this is uh, actuation is like controls so you actually want to um perform those actions in the end so sabse start jo hota hai wo mapping se hota hai so uh one uh, one of the things around mapping is you might be thinking ke bhai hamare paas google maps bhi to hai why don't we just use google maps um so uh, yes google maps gives you a very basic layer of uh, information but self driving cars need to be uh, need to have accurate mapping up to the centimeter level तो और जो गूगल मैप्स हैं वो इतने उनकी इतनी हाई रेजोल्यूशन एक्यूरेसी नहीं है तो वो दैट्स व्हाई दीज कार्स नीड टू मैप देयर एनवायरनमेंट एंड दिस इज यू नो समथिंग द द मैप लुक्स लाइक समथिंग सिमिलर टू दिस दे एंड लाइडार इज आल्सो यूज्ड टू टू गेट द मैपिंग डेटा एज़ वेल सो दे दे सेंस एवरीथिंग अराउंड इट एंड देन उसमें ज्योमेट्रिक मैप बनता है व्हिच इज जस्ट द ज्योमेट्री ऑफ द थिंग्स अराउंड द कार um and then uh, just semantic map on top of a record layer hoti hai jisme we specify the you know the the details about the road ke kaun si lanes hain kaun si crosswalks hain aur ye jo uh, you know there's there's a pole is if there's a traffic light or not um and then uh, ye ke lanes on in, incoming lanes kaun si hain uh, aur right turn lanes on kaun si hain so all that information is fed into is called the semantic map so the, these both combined uh, become um, a map that we use or um so sorry uh, going back to their yes so the mapping is our localization uh, is is very important and the main question localization solves is where am i the car itself wo duniya mein wo exactly is wo kahan located hai to the to the centimeter accurate to the centimeters um and then this is one of the algorithms that industry mein jo use hota hai um this is called particle filter but there are multiple other algorithms like kalman filter and we use a uh, slam as well for for localization and mapping but the, the main outcome of this you know this component lo- uh, localization component is just the xyz coordinates of the car ke is work the uh, the car is at this uh, you know exact coordinates and also the heading where exactly uh, you know it is headed uske baad we go into perception so look map aa gaya aapke paas aapke paas localization information aa gayi ke where exactly you are um and then you do uh, you start perceiving things so for example ab aap everything you see around you you need to try to make sense of that thing that is that um a pole is that a person is that a car is that a cyclist and then some other things about that uh, so these are the sort of uh, the input uska map ho gaya hamare paas sensor broad sensor data ho gaya images ho gaye jo output is perception module ka ye uh, 3d bounding boxes ya polygons honge and which is again uh, you see a thing on the map you draw the 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 stack uh, the perception stack draws a box or a polygon a shape around it okay this is one thing uh, because like if you go back into the lidar space there are much of dots that you see but then which dots are together combined to make one uh, unique thing that is for the uh, job of this perception stack uh, perception stack also spits out labels that uh, yes this is one thing but what is the type of this thing so this is uh, that's we what we call labels ye pedestrian hai cyclist hai motorbike hai car hai truck hai and then also there abhi currently what is their velocity and heading ke wo kis taraf ja rahe hain ki direction kya hai aur unki is waqt speed kitni hai 
Um, it does a couple of other things as well. If there's a tra- uh, turn signal, right here, left turn, you have your car on, so then the uh, perception track also tries to uh, make sense of that. And also traffic light status. That's also, uh, the mapping can tell you that there is a traffic light, a signal, hai, but perception stack actually tells you, is it green, is it blue, is it yellow, what's uh, cast status? Kya hai, so. so, Usman, a question here on mm-hmm. the perception. So, mm-hmm. if you have a rash car driver around you, koi, uh-huh. someone is driving too fast, or if you are intersection, mein, jase, is mein raha hai, you are mm-hmm. approaching an intersection, mm-hmm. and from the opposite side, a car is coming too fast. Mm-hmm. So, isme, uh, objects ki speed or anticipation usko bhi, uh, perception ke hi handle kiya jata hai? Uh, uh, perception. I will go into that section. Just ko prediction kya raha. So, prediction specifically, isko hum prediction mein handle kiya jata hai. Ke, um, uh, to, to predict their future behavior. So, perception is mainly about their current state at this point in time. Um, or prediction, uh, ka jo hai, kuch, kuch architectures mein prediction is part of the perception stack, which architecture mein prediction is part of the motion planning stack, but technically prediction, but is a separate entity. Okay. And then another relevant question for mm-hmm. this that has just come in, uh, jo surrounding, uh, infrastructure, hai, jase traffic lights, lagi hai, ya or, uh, intersection mein, uh, dusre, uh, curb, or mm-hmm. dusri post hai, street light, kya uh, cities ya governments unme sensor laga rahi hain ki jinke sath gaadiyan communicate kar sake to know exactly ya ye ke sara overhead jo hai wo gaadi ke perception module ke upar hi hai ke figure out ke kya ho raha hai for example agar red light hai to kya wo signal emit kuch kar dega data publish kar dega ke burst hmm. form mein ke gaadi ko pata lag jaye ke red light hai ya gaadi ne dekh ke hi figure out karna hai ke yaar ye red light hai a very good question. So as of now, uh, uh, the, the car itself has to figure that out. Gar is what the, the Koi cities, which infrastructure may investment of Nina Hiori or Uski, uh, part of the reason is that the infrastructure could change Kana is a very lengthy and complex process. A, it costs a lot and B, uh, you have to work with the cities and the governments to make that happen. So agar us pe depend karenge, to it will take another 20, 30, 40 years, uh, for us to, to be able to do that. And what will happen is that you will only be able to drive in a neighborhood. As you have gone to the other city, the neighborhood has not made the infrastructure in the city, and then that won't work. So uh, to answer your question, uh, no, the infrastructure is being built now, the cars are being built, the cars are being built, the cars are they are mainly focusing on uh, the car itself, trying to figure that out itself, by itself. But in future, yes, that's a very good uh, 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 future direction that eventually it will make the life easier and more deterministic for the, for the vehicles and connected. Even, even the cars need to talk to each other. That's also another feature direction that if the, if her guardian get up the information that you can, I'm going to write can I'm going to So then if most of the, most of the cars are, um, are self-driving, then they know the intent of other cars as well. So that, that makes it much more, um, you know, easier problem to solve. So, um, and this is another, so uh, this is, this was from Waymo, um, uh, Google ka jo driving group. Hai. This is from Zooks. So Zooks is another startup, uh, hai. Aur usme, um, if you at the top, these are the cameras, jo ke camera se for center, there's a center camera and then uh, right or left camera se image. Hai. And then if you look at it, the usme unhone 2D detection ki hai. Ke, uh, 2D, 2D means that the camera image ke upar draw kiya hua, ke this looks like a car. For example, in this case, they, they use the blue color for, uh, for vehicle and pink color for pedestrians. So they try to uh, label every object. And then the bottom, pe hai, that's their 3D view of the world. So the camera, se, LIDAR, se, sab ko mila ke, then they come up with this 3D view and, uh, and then they label things. So if you look at the ground, there's a semantic map. And then uh, the boxes are exactly bounding boxes, ko main tha. polygons or bounding boxes hai, around different types of uh, you know, agents. So we call them agents or obstacles. Um, and then there's a path as well, ke gaadi ne apna left turn karna hai. that's part of the routing. Traffic light, hai, it, uh, you know, the, we, we, you know, it was able to detect ke green, hui hui hai, traffic light. Uh, the signal is green. Um, and then uh, perception is one of the places where uh, machine learning is uh, used, specifically uh, neural networks, because mainly because it has a lot of computer vision uh, needs. And computer vision has been, uh, that field uh, has been in the industry for some time. 
or uh, one of the earliest uh, you know deep neural networks have been used in computer vision and this is an example by uber's ka jo atg group hai uh, uska ek research paper hai jisme they are trying to do the sensor fusion using uh, uh, deep neural networks if you look at the left so this is this is an architecture of the of a neural network left pe there are multiple lidar se data aa raha hai um and then uh, i think there are radar se bhi hai aur rgb image camera se bhi hai and then they try to mesh it together um and then in the end they try to to make sense of the things the 2d box 3d boxes and uh, depth of the things um and then also class probability ke exactly uh, is ke kaun si label hai jisko hum kehte hain cyclist hai pedestrian hai and also the fact ke uh, uski probability kitni hai because it will tell you ke i am 80% sure this is a pedestrian so that other parts of the stack wo apna decision kar sake ki yaar agar let's say perception stack kehta hai ki i am only 50% sure this is a pedestrian then it might actually uh, make some decisions differently uh, so to aage hum ab ja as as uh, noman asked the question earlier ki agar koi tez aa raha hai but some dash driver that means we need to predict their behavior and then act accordingly so that that sort of component is called prediction or uh, prediction mein um, मेनली जो इनपुट है वो परसेप्शन है मैपिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन है जो पिछले अभी हम सीक्वेंस पे चल रहे हैं तो मोस्टली यूजली इसी डायरेक्शन में चलता है तो मैपिंग ने इन्फॉर्मेशन दी परसेप्शन को परसेप्शन ने इन्फॉर्मेशन दी प्रोडिक्शन को प्रोडिक्शन मैपिंग से भी इन्फॉर्मेशन लेता है एंड देन वन ऑफ द थिंग्स इट डज इज इट प्रोडिक्स कपल ऑफ थिंग्स ए वो फ्यूचर में जो गाड़ी के जितनी भी उसको चीजें नजर परसेप्शन बताता है कि दिस इज अडस्ट्रियन दिस इज साइकलिस्ट वो उनकी फ्यूचर ट्रेजेक्ट्री या फ्यूचर पाथ प्रिडिक्ट करने की कोशिश करता है कि अगले दस सेकंड में एवरी एवरी यानी अब से लेके अगले दस सेकंड तक वो कहाँ पे होगा तो इट इट ट्राइज टू प्रिडिक्ट पुट देयर देयर कोऑर्डिनेट्स इन द वर्ल्ड फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन सेकंड टू सेकंड थ्री सेकंड से लेके दस सेकेंड एंड टेन इज दस आर्बिट्री नंबर डिफरेंट स्टैक्स प्रोडिक्ट टू ए डिफरेंट टाइम हॉराइजन और दूसरी चीज़ें जो यूज करते हैं वो देयर प्रोडिक्ट बिहेवियर स्पेसिफिक बिहेवियर एज वेल के नॉट जस्ट देयर फ्यूचर ट्रेजेक्ट्री but also ke yaar wo agar if there is a pedestrian will they enter the crosswalk or not um uh, or in the next 2 seconds or 3 seconds or if there is a cyclist for example in this picture the cyclist hame human ko nazar aa raha hai ke they, they might turn in front of uh, the car but uh, the the if you only look at their current state the car might decide they are not on my lane and they are just you know uh, they are uh, these 2 meters away from me so i don't need to stop for them but the prediction stack tells them hey the future may in the next 2 seconds this will be in front of you so you need to behave accordingly um and also prediction may be because these are predictions uh, these can or cannot be true so wo kya karta hai ki there is there is an important factor ke it should predict multiple hypotheses for example is cyclist ke liye it will say ki yaar ye aapke samne bhi aa sakta hai aur ye seedha bhi ja sakta hai and these are the probabilities ke samne aage probability let's say 90% hai aur 10% iski probability seedha jaane ki bhi hai um and then same as the pedestrian jo is picture mein nazar aa raha hai so another question relevant mm-hmm. to this uh, has come up ke what about objects uh, uh, for example koi janwar aa jata hai which is unexpected on the road mm-hmm. uh, someone has asked specifically like a donkey cart for example mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. wo gaadi ne pehle nahi dekha hua ke ye kya cheez hai to wo perception jo hai wo sirf ek polygon dekhega ke ji koi cheez hai samne ji lekin usko uski ye na jante hue bhi ke ye donkey cart hai ke ye साइकिल uh, है या क्या है अगर उसको नहीं भी समझ आ रही कि ये क्या है क्या वो फिर भी डिटेक्ट कर सकता है कि ये मूव किधर कर रहा है या उसको ये समझना जरूरी है कि ये है क्या चीज uh, नहीं वो डिटेक्ट कर सकता है तो दे परसेप्शन विल फिगर आउट एवरी सिंगल थिंग जो उसके इर्द गिर्द है uh, तो वो उसको अगर परसेप्शन ने पहले से उस चीज को नहीं देखा हुआ ट्रेनिंग एल्गोरिथम्स में वो क्लासिफिकेशन नहीं थी तो वो उसको मार्क कर देगा अननोन कि हाँ ये चीज है मुझे पता नहीं है क्या है बट एक चीज है जो कि इस स्पीड से आगे चल रही है तो जो आगे वाले पीसेस हैं जो प्रोडिक्शन है या जो मोशन प्लानिंग है वो उसमें स्पेशल होगा कि यार अगर हमें पता है कि एग्जैक्टली exactly ये पेडेस्ट्रियन है तब तो हम कह सकते हैं कि ये स्लो चलेगा अगर हमें पता है ये गाड़ी है तब तो हम कह सकते हैं कि तकरीबन स्पीड से यूजली गाड़ियां चलती हैं रोड पे लेकिन अगर हमें नहीं पता तो उन चीजों के लिए क्या करें तो दे कैन चूज टू बी मोर यू नो मोर कंजर्वेटिव अबाउट दो यार वो वो आहिस्ता भी चल सकते भी चल सकते हैं तो उनके लिए उनके इर्द गिर्द जो अनसर्टेनिटी है वो हम बढ़ा दें अपनी ताकि हम ज्यादा सेफ बिहेवियर कर सकें उनके अर्द गिर्द तो क्योंकि एक तो वजह हो सकती है वाकई ही कोई ऐसी चीज हो जो कि हमारे स्टैक ने पहले ना देखी हो दूसरी ऑप्शन ये हो सकती है कि वो एक्चुअली वो गाड़ी थी 
बट हमारे जो परसेप्शन स्टैक में इट वॉज नॉट एबल क्योंकि हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्यूरेसी तो नहीं है तो इट वॉज नॉट एबल टू डिटेक्ट कि वो गाड़ी है uh, कुछ सारी एग्जाम्पल होती है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर किसी गाड़ी के पीछे साइकिल किसी ने लटकाया हुआ है तो इज दैट ए साइकिल इज दैट ए कार तो वो बहुत कम यूजली हमारे ट्रेनिंग डेटा में नजर आता है तो देन समटाइम्स इट माइट मिस क्लासीफाई इट और गेट इट माइट गेट कंफ्यूज एंड क्लासीफाइड एज एज एन आर नोन तो इसलिए जो बेस्ट ऑफ द फॉरवर्ड स्टैक जो है जो प्रोडिक्शन और मोशन प्लानिंग नीड टू टेक दैट इन टू अकाउंट okay uh, usman actually i apologize again some mm-hmm. people are still on looks like they are on the uh, admit if you can admit all there may be some people who joined late let me see kahan se admit all kar raha hu participants ki list mein hoga ji i just did admit all okay and and i think uh, uh, will i am assuming will upload the recording as well so people who are able to join late can follow up right yes we will we will okay chale theek hai to uh, and this is another example of uh, same uh, prediction stack to ye left ki example hai jisme agar aapko thoda sa left pe thoda sa dark hai but left pe image hai camera ka jisme uh, there is a person who is trying to uh, who is standing on the side of the road to so, uh, technically at this frame that person is static तो परसेप्शन ने उसकी वेलोसिटी बताई है जीरो है प्रॉब्लम बट ऑन द राइट ये जो हम ये जो गाड़ी ने जो कि हमारी प्रोडिक्शन परसेप्शन स्टैक ने मिलके ये इमेज बनाया तो इफ यू लुक एट द वेरी राइट जो पिंक कलर का लंबा सा बॉक्स है दैट्स द द पेडेस्ट्रियन जो कि हमें एक्चुअली इमेज में नजर आ रहा है तो इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट कि उसके आस जो तीन लाइन नजर आ रही है अराउंड इट दो थ्री हाइपोथिस उसने कहा कि यार ये सीधा जिस तरह डायरेक्शन में गाड़ी उधर भी जा सकता है पेडेस्ट्रियन ये रोड के ऊपर डायरेक्टली भी आ सकता है और ये क्रॉस जो क्रॉस वॉक है फुटपाथ उसके ऊपर भी जा सकता है एंड देन इवेंचुअली इट विल असाइन प्रोबेबिलिटीज टू ऑल थ्री सो इन द एंड दैट पेडेस्ट्रियन वेंट इनटू दिस क्रॉस वॉक साइड पे एंड देन उसकी प्रोबेबिलिटी हमारे सिस्टम में सबसे ज्यादा थी ऑलरेडी सो प्रोडिक्शन स्टैक वाज एबल टू प्रोडिक्ट दैट सो द कार डजंट हैव टू स्टॉप उसके लिए कि वो हमारे सामने आ सकता है उसकी प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑलमोस्ट जीरो थी तो वंस अब हमें पहली इन्फॉर्मेशन पता चलेगी कि व्हाट आर द थिंग फर्स्ट थिंग के वेयर आई एम द वेयर द कार इज एंड देन सेकंडली हम गए परसेप्शन पे कि मेरे इर्द गिर्द जो चीजें हैं वो क्या हैं व्हाट आर द थिंग्स अराउंड मी ओके स्पीड से चल रही हैं कितना दूर है मुझसे एंड देन प्रोडिक्शन में हम गए प्रोडिक्शन ने बताया कि वो अब तो यहाँ थी लेकिन फ्यूचर में वो कहाँ जा सकती हैं ये सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन कंज्यूम करके मोशन प्लानिंग स्टैक विल एक्चुअली फिगर आउट कि अब मुझे क्या करना है तो इट्स के वी हैव अ राउट इन आर माइंड कि हमने यहाँ से पॉइंट ए से पॉइंट बी जाना है एंड देन ये सारी करंट स्टेट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड है जो कि मुझे पिछले पीसीज ऑफ स्टैक ने बताई देन फ्रॉम देयर ऑनवर्ड्स इट विल डिसाइड एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आई शुड डू एंड दिस इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ थिंग्स दैट द प्रमोशन प्लानिंग स्टैक कैन डू वन इट डज बिहेवियर प्लानिंग के एग्जैक्टली एक्शन क्या लेना है मुझे um and then what uh, what is what what to do and then phir hai ki what not to do which is constraints ki kya cheeze aisi hain jo ki i should avoid uh, and then tra- eventually it will tra- generate a trajectory ke in order to take that action what is the path that i have to follow so ye jo niche example hai usme basically a lane change ki uska uh, scenario bataya hua hai ke the pink car jo that's the self driving car usne is waqt uh, eventually lane change karni hai to uske paas jo option hai Uh, ये है कि आप लेन कीप कर सकते हैं अपनी और या आप गैप गैप नंबर वन में जा सकते हैं गैप नंबर टू में जा सकते हैं तो एंड देन आल्सो जो दूसरी गाड़ियों के इर्द गिर्द जो बॉक्स है दैट्स आल्सो इसी ने बिहेवियर प्लानर ने बताया कि ये आप नहीं कर सकते इस रेड बॉक्स को यू कैन नॉट फॉलो और जो लेन्स जो टॉप और बॉटम पे लेन्स हैं वो ये कि ये लेन की बाउंड्रीज हैं आप इससे भी बाहर नहीं जा सकते तो बेसिकली लेन चेंज इज वॉट टू डू कंस्ट्रेंट्स के यार इन इन चीजों से आप बाहर नहीं जा सकते एंड देन जो जो पर्पल लाइन है ये सारी ट्रेजेक्ट्रीज हैं ये जनरेटर्स ने की क्या दीज आर ऑल दू नो हंड्रेड थाउजेंड ऑफ ट्रेजेक्ट्रीज दैट आई कैन डू तो और इवेंचुअली इट विल चूज वन ऑफ दोज ट्रेजेक्ट्रीज दैट्स द बेस्ट ट्रेजेक्ट्री और वो किस तरह चूज करते हैं वो ये कि जो सेफेस्ट हो ऑफ कोर्स और जिसमें कोई क्रोजन की इतनी पॉसिबिलिटी ना हो जो सबसे कंफर्टेबल हो जिसमें बहुत ब्रेक या जर्क या कोई इस तरह की चीज ना हो um and also which uh, satisfies your purpose ki aapne jo point a se point b jana hai to usme to wo ye in sab ko wait weigh karte hain usme se jo best possible trajectory then it, the the stack chooses 
so uh, on the behavior uh, or not uh, the planning there is a mm-hmm. question relevant question mm-hmm. uh, so jo moral question hai ke what not to do mm-hmm. to ab agar ek taraf uh, pedestrian hai aur ek taraf cyclist hai aur uh, the car has to make a decision to what what's been what's the industry's view on those type of moral dilemmas when it comes to the constraints of what not to do or what to do uh that's a very good question so in general um the every pretty much every self driving car their main top priority by far is the safety safety of uh, things around you and safety of the or the the vehicle itself now uh, so or uh, uh, but that said there are no standards yet so there that debate will always be there until governments or regulators actually come in and then figure out because आप कह तो सकते हैं कि हाँ एवरी कंपनी कैन से सेफ्टी इज आर टॉप प्रायोरिटी बट नो वन इज एक्चुअली होल्डिंग देम अकाउंटेबल फॉर दैट देर इज ए रिसेंट एक्सीडेंट जो कि ऊबर की सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार से हुआ था देर वॉज अ पेडेस्ट्रियन रात को बिल्कुल इट केम इन फ्रंट एंड देन दैट पेडेस्ट्रियन डाइड दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट एंड द ओनली केस ऑफ ए पेडेस्ट्रियन डेथ सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार में अभी तक तो उसमें देर वॉज अ डिटेल स्टडी उसके बाद एंड देन इवेंचुअली उन्होंने कहा दे ब्लेम डेट ऑन द ऑन द सेफ्टी ड्राइवर जो कि गाड़ी में बैकअप ड्राइवर था but at the same time since pehle se koi rules and regulations nahi hai so that's a very good question and i think the quick answer is that there are no regulations there so each company is responsible for their own uh, safety uh, measures to jo last piece hai uh, after motion planning jab aapne motion plan kar liya ki yaar maine ye trajectory follow karni hai then it's just about doing control which is uh, if you remember uh, from your example ke you actually need to move your limbs right you need to aapne decide kar liya maine chal ke is kamre se bahar jana hai but i for in order to do that you your brain gives signals to your legs to move and your arms to move so that's what control is controls uh, eventually for this example um, uh, trajectory generator ne kaha yaar maine thoda sa aage ja ke rukna hai to uske the in order to stop at that point in time uh, we need to give the acceleration and steering uh, uh, you know commands to the car itself ke thoda sa 10 degree right mud jao and then you know accelerate thoda acceleration zyada kar do ya thoda sa brake zyada kar do so that is the that whole de- de- domain is is controls to ye basically we just covered the you know the software stack on a little bit of the hardware stack as well get uh, 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 how does this thing work uh, from a technology perspective now we'll go a little bit into the industry side of it so um industry mein jo uski applications hai mainly वो ट्रकिंग की है हाईवेज पे बड़े जो डिलीव जो ट्रक्स एंड ट्रेलर्स जाते हैं तो उसमें ये यूज हो सकता है लास्ट माइल डिलीवरी जिसमें जो बिल्कुल जो स्ट्रीट्स के अंदर बाद में जो फूड पैकेट फूड डिलीवरीज एंड पैकेजेस आपके घर तक जो आती हैं वो भी सेल ड्राइविंग से हो सकती हैं टैक्सीज ऑफकोर्स ऊबर एंड लिफ्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ टैक्सीज एंड देन कंज्यूमर कार जो इन द एंड आपकी अपनी गाड़ी में भी ये टेक्नोलॉजी आ सकती है तो दिस इज अ गुड पिक्चर जिसमें यू यूजली थिंक यार ये दो तीन टेस्ला है वेमो है गूगल है लिफ्ट ऊबर है ये चार पांच कार्ड कंपनीज कर रही हैं सेल ड्राइविंग में विच इज नॉट द केस वेटी मच एवरी सिंगल कंपनी जिसका ऑटोमेटिक से थोड़ा बहुत भी ताल्लुक है दे आर वर्किंग ऑन सम जनरल सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार्ड बिकॉज दे डू थिंक दैट इन द फ्यूचर दैट विल बी द टेक्नोलॉजी देन वॉन्ट टू फॉल बिहाइंड और उसमें बहुत सारी पार्टनरशिप्स हो रही है फॉर एग्जांपल लिफ्ट और वेमो अपनी अपनी टेक्नोलॉजीज भी बना रहा है बट दे आर पार्टनरिंग विद ईच अदर एज वेल जिसमें दे यू नो लिफ्ट विल यूज वेमोस कार्स बट यूज लिफ्ट्स नेटवर्क ऑफ राइड शेयरिंग और टैक्सीज तो सो देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ प्लेयर्स हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन इन डूइंग सेल्फ ड्राइविंग सो अ क्वेश्चन हियर के इन द 70s देयर वाज अ शिफ्ट इन ऑटोमोटिव पहले गाड़ियां भी जो हैं वो एक ही कंपनी सारी चीजें बनाती थी लेकिन इन द सेवेंटीज देर वॉज अ शिफ्ट इन दी ऑटोमोटिव सेक्टर के एक कंपनी बन गई जो सिर्फ क्लच एंड एक्सल में स्पेशलाइज करती थी एक बन गई वो ब्रेक पैड में स्पेशलाइज करती थी और फिर बड़े कार मैन्युफैक्चर ने उनसे पार्ट्स लेने शुरू कर दिए तो जो आपने अभी ये पूरा एक लेयर्ड अप्रोच बताई है लाइड आर्स हैं फिर उसके बाद परसेप्शन है मोशन प्लानिंग है और फिर कंट्रोल्स हैं तो इस इंडस्ट्री में भी ऐसा हो रहा है कि कुछ कंपनीज सिर्फ परसेप्शन पे ही काम कर रही हैं वो बाकी चीजों को नहीं देख रही आ, कुछ जो है वो सिर्फ वो लाइडर्स की कॉस्ट को नीचे लाएं कि वो छोटे से छोटा बना के गाड़ी में लगाया जा सके इज दैट हैपनिंग या सब लोग पूरा पूरा ही काम करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं तो हार्डवेयर साइड पे जो सेंसर्स हैं वो मोस्टली अभी तक इंडिविजुअल कंपनीज ही बना रही है 
वो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये लिफ्ट और ये टोटा और ये सारे अपने सेंसर नहीं बना रहे वेरी फ्यू कंपनी वेमो इज वन ऑफ द फ्यू एक्सेप्शन जो कि कुछ सेंसर बना रही है और वो भी क्या कर रही है कुछ सेंसर ले रही है और उनको चेंज मॉडिफाई कर रही है अपने हिसाब से एंड देन और मेजोरिटी ऑफ द कंपनीज दे बाय दो सेंसर फ्रॉम द एक्सपर्ट जो कि वो वाले सेंसर बनाते हैं मोस्ट ऑफ दीज कंपनीज आर बिल्डिंग द द एक्चुअल सॉफ्टवेयर स्टैक कि यार अगर हमारे पास इस स्पेसिफिकेशन के सेंसर आ जाए देन वी कैन पुट इट ऑन द कार एंड देन दिस इज हाउ द सॉफ्टवेयर स्टैक इंटीग्रेशन विल लुक लाइक जो और कुछ कंपनीज हैं जो कि गाड़ियां भी बने जैसे जूक्स मैंने जो एग्जांपल शुरू में बॉटम राइट पे दिखाई थी वो अपनी नए सिरे से गाड़ी भी इन्वेंट करना चाह रही है जो जीएम है दस द अदर कंपनी जिसके पास जो कि ऑलरेडी कार मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कैपेबिलिटी है तो वो क्रूज जो उनका सेल ड्राइविंग ग्रुप क्रूज है वो भी गाड़ी डेडिकेटेड गाड़ी इसके लिए बनाना चाह रहे हैं एंड देव ए प्रोटोटाइप आउट एज वेल तो बट देन आपके टू आंसर क्वेश्चन सेंसर इट सेल्फ वो अभी तक ज्यादातर कंपनीज इंडिविजुअली अपना नहीं बना रही वो जो जो एक्सपर्ट्स हैं उस फील्ड में वही बना रहे हैं लेकिन सॉफ्टवेयर स्टैक में भी ये हो रहा है कि कोई कंपनी सिर्फ परसेप्शन पे ही काम कर रही है कोई कंपनी सिर्फ कंट्रोल पे ही काम कर रही है ऐसा हो रहा है तो सॉफ्टवेयर स्टैक इज इज वेरी न्यू लेकिन अभी तक जो ज्यादातर कंपनीज है वो एंड टू एंड सारे उस पर कर रही है इंडिविजुअल बट देन आई डू एग्री के इवेंचुअली दैट कैन बी द प्लग एंड प्ले कैन बी द थिंग बट अभी क्या है दीज दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी मच टाइट टूगेदर देर इज नो कॉमन इंटरफेस यार अगर परसेप्शन स्टैक स्पिट्स आउट इन्फॉर्मेशन इन दिस फॉर्मेट देन एनी प्लानिंग स्टैक कैन टेक इट तो अभी दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी टाइटली कपल्ड इन द स्टैक सो मे बी इन इन फाइव टेन ट्वेंटी इयर्स लेटर दैट माइट हैपन तो अब एक वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन जब आप इंडस्ट्री की बात करते हैं कि आप वेन कैन यू स्टार्ट यूजिंग इट तो उसका जो शॉर्ट आंसर है कि नॉट लाइटली फॉर अ फ्यू ईयर्स Uh, और उसकी मेन यह है कि विल विल मेन वजह है कि विल प्रॉब्ली सी पहले कमर्शियल यूज और कमर्शियल यूज भी लिमिटेड सिनेरियोज में होगा कि जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैस हाईवे ऑनली या जियो फेंस के सिर्फ ए इस पॉइंट ए से पॉइंट बी तक जा सकते हैं एंड वन ऑफ द रीजन उसकी है कि करेंटली इट्स वेरी एक्सपेंसिव जो लाइडा जिसका मैंने फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपको बताया वो रफली अराउंड यू नो ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डॉलर का है रफली तीस से चालीस लाख रुपए का सिर्फ एक वो सेंसर लाइडार गाड़ी के ऊपर है एंड देन देर आर मल्टीपल राइडर समटाइम्स ऑन द कार Uh, and not to mention जो उसके जी पी यूज और वो सारी मशीन होती हैं टेस्ला इज एन एक्सेप्शन इसमें बिकॉज टेस्ला इज नॉट यूजिंग लाइटर्स टेस्ला इज क्लेमिंग के वो uh, जो है सिर्फ कैमराज से ये सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन और ये सारे कैमराज और रेडार से ये सेंसर ले इन्फॉर्मेशन ले सकती है बट दे हैवन बीन एबल टू प्रूव दैट और दे बीन ट्राइंग टू क्लेम दैट फॉर फाइव टेन ईयर्स के दे बी एबल टू डू दैट तो देट स्टिल गेट टू बी प्रूव but yes in general it will be some time before uh, you know you and i can uh, ride on a, have that technology uh, in our cars uh, widely to ek uh, ek aur question jo ke kafi logon ke paas hota hai and then um, which is what about ai uh, is this all thing done using artificial intelligence um, so the the short answer is no तो यूजली जो रोबोटिक्स और इस तरह के जितने वो फीचर्स होते हैं दे आर मिक्स ऑफ एक्सपर्ट एल्गोरिथम्स एक्सपर्ट एल्गोरिथम हम कह रहे हैं जो कि आप ह्यूम एक्चुअली से इन ए वे यू कैन थिंक ऑफ ए ग्लोरीफाइड अ लॉट ऑफ इफ देन एल्थ स्टेटमेंट्स अगर ये हो तो ये करें अगर ये हो तो ये करें एंड देन यू नो सम फैंसी एल्गोरिथम्स अराउंड दैट मशीन लर्न एल्गोरिथम्स हैं बट देन दे आर नॉट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द स्टैक टूडे एंड टू एंड जो जितने मशीन लर्न एल्गोरिथम्स हैं भी वो क्या होते हैं कि यूजली दे आर अप्लाइड छोटे मॉडल्स यूज होते हैं इंडिविजुअल पीसेस पे फॉर एग्जांपल लेन चेंज के फॉर एग्जांपल आप कहें तो माइट बी एन एलगेथम जो कि यार अगर इफ इफ यू गिव मी ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन आई विल टेल यू के लेन चेंज करें या ना करें ये वाला कंपोनेंट मैं कर सकता हूँ मशीन लर्निंग से ये ऐसा नहीं होगा कि आप सेंसर का रॉ डेटा दे देंगे और इन दैंड वो कह देगा कि हाँ ये वाला पाथ फॉलो करें या एक्सेलरेशन ये दें और ब्रेक पे पाँव रखें कना रखें वो वाले एल्गोरिथम्स अभी कुछ कंपनीज काम कर रही हैं फॉर एग्जांपल वेव एक लंदन बेस्ड कंपनी है उसने इस पर काम करी है वेमो का एक शॉफनेटिक रिसर्च पेपर लॉन्च किया था वो भी इसी पे बारे में बट देन दैट्स ऑल आर एंड डी सो फार तो वो अभी तक प्रूवन नहीं है कि वो टेक्नोलॉजी कर सकती है कि चल सकती है कि नहीं परसेप्शन एंड प्रोडिक्शन स्टैक में सबसे ज़्यादा ए या एम यूज हो रही है दैट सैड इवेंचुअली सेफ्टी लेयर जो है वो ऑलवेज भी hard coded hand written logic because uh, one of the problems with machine learning or specifically deep learning is there's no explainability you cannot uh, ask the the machine ke why did you make this decision you cannot debug it easily 
तो बट सेफ्टी में यू कैन नॉट हैव दैट लूप होल तो दैट्स वाई वी वो हमेशा रहेगी इवेंचुअली आज से दस साल बाद भी सेफ्टी लेयर विल स्टिल बी हैंड ट्यून एवरी थम्स um but that said my day to day job for example requires me to read research papers try out different research papers and then most of the new research paper coming out are using machine learning and ai for 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 a lot of these components that i mentioned uh, above um but and also because of the new uh, you know new new uh, hardware uh, it is easy to get much more com- complex computation to bahut sare uh, deep learning algorithms jo pehle possible nahi the because of the hardware ab woh possible ho rahe hain to yes in the future there will be more and more ai but right now it's a mix of both um so the important question ke if you want to get started how exactly can you get started um there is i would say ke self driving is not one field or one technology it is a combination of many 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 technologies it's just an application so you apply all these technologies like electrical engineering hardware engineering hoti hai computer vision image processing use of the distributed computing uh, big data analysis uh kernel programming networking 3d simulation gpu programming so you the, you use all of these uh, you know fields to to write different types of solutions in this space so if you are interested in any one of those or if you are expert in any one of those you can uh, work in a uh, you know in a in a self driving company or in in a group that does something similar to that um and then the question ke exactly if you are interested in this how do you get started youtube is your best friend youtube pe uh, it's there a lot of free courses and lectures online and then or wo free ka matlab hai ki there actually real badi badi stanford berkeley university se courses hain google waymo jinhone research ki hai 20 20 saal ki unke logon ne apne research apni research hai wo unke lectures diye hue hain and then kuch uh, proper courses hain jisme they go from class to class these are all free available coursera university mein online formal paid specializations bhi hain just now one of the things that i mentioned uh, uh, self driving ka and then uh, up individually you can go to one of the individual fields jo maine piche dikhai thi and then you can take courses around that as well or youtube uh, lectures around that there are very good engineering blogs ye waymo ka hai lift ka hai uber ka hai cruise ka hai to jitne self driving startups hain unke engineering blogs hain to usme they talk about some of the research they've been doing some of the system they've been building those are good resources uh, there are research papers there every year the couple of conferences hoti hain cvpr hai ye computer vision ki conference hai ek robotics ki conference hai icra or is mein you uh, there are a lot of research papers there is a lot of talks about self driving cars um actually right now cvpr chal rahi hai and then cvpr mein uh, i think do teen din pehle uska keynote aaya tha usme bahut sare tesla ka waymo ka aur un logon ne aur uber ke logon ne uh, their their tech talks kiye apne self driving systems pe so you should go and check out on youtube pe padhi hai sari uh, mentorship is another good thing that if you know someone who works in any of these fields that i mentioned and you're interested in those get in touch with them ask them uh, questions or the you know they i'm sure people are more than happy to to help you one on one on on these things as well and there is an open source actually project uh, apollo ye uh, baidu ek uh, chinese company hai or uh, they are building their self driving car as well so they've open sourced ye jo sare stacks as noman asked ke yaar ye koi ek perception stack bana le wo bana le to inhone open source kar diya inhone kaha ke aap apna koi bhi stack plug and play kar le aur aur usne sare stacks jo hai wo open source padha hota if you are interested in looking at some code or trying out even in simulation there the the whole technology is is uh, available in open source wahan pe so with this i would like to open this with the q and a and and thank you all for for hearing and then uh, noman if there are any questions um uh yeah. absolutely so uh, there is a series of questions questions have come in with uh, several uh, patterns so i'm going to kind of group them together mm-hmm. um so ek uh, uh, pakistan ya emerging market ke hisab se teen char questions aaye hain mm-hmm. ke uh, is there a market uh, for uh, this self driving in uh, pakistan or countries like pakistan uh or agar as it is us based trained ek gaadi chalti hui lift ki ya waymo ki utha ke hum pakistan le aaye to hmm. what are some of the challenges uh, you going to uh, run into hmm to ye dono actually interconnected questions hai and and very good questions so uh, i would go with the second question first and that has the answer for the first question so second question ye hai ki agar aap gaadi yahan se koi le jate train it will not work kyunki the a lot of these perception stack or ye jo ye hai they 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 are data hungry they Uh, and then uh, a lot of things that i mentioned like agar jisna humne example di thi ki agar aapne wo cart dekha hi nahi donkey cart so then the the, the system will not know how to differentiate between a donkey cart and a vehicle 
तो एंड देन यू डोंट सी डोंकी कार्ड्स इन इन अदर कंट्रीज तो दैट्स व्हाई वो और परसेंट स्टैक को नहीं पता चलेगा सेम विद सेमेंटिक मैप हमारे रोड के लॉज डिफरेंट है हमारे रोड के रूल्स डिफरेंट है मैपिंग डिफरेंट है तो इट्स अ प्लग एंड प्ले नहीं होता एंड दैट इज द रीजन वी नीड टू स्टार्ट इन्वेस्टिंग इन दीस टेक्नोलॉजीज इन हाउस सो दैट वी यू नो ताकि हम पीछे ना रह जाए अदरवाइज कोई पाकिस्तान में आके पाकिस्तान के लिए नहीं बनाएगा गाड़ी तो और सेल्फ ड्राइविंग टेक्नोलॉजी तो वी विल हैव टू स्टेप अप एंड 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 डू इट आवरसेल्स ओके uh then i have a series of questions uh, related to uh, lidar so i'm going to go back jaise jaise aap slides cover kar rahe the logon ke questions aa rahe the to do teen uh, lidar se related question hai ki uh, it, it maps the world around the car and it is is it measuring the luminosity w- w- what is it really doing is it emitting a light uh, uh, some kind of a uh, low density ya uh, low energy light marta hai aur wo radar se zyada accurate hai um and whether the b- once you do the lidar then why do you need the separate perception layer usne bata do diya hai ki kya kya cheeze hain hmm good question so uh, pehli baat ye hai ki yes wo radar se zyada uh, high resolution hai to so, radar will tell you ki yaar ek object hai aapke aapse thoda sa dur hai aur wo is speed se ja raha hai wo bahut accuracy se speed bata dega lekin uski resolution bahut low hai तो वो उस पर जो पॉइंट्स हैं वो वो आपको बस बताएगा कि यार कोई चीज है आपसे इधर कितनी बड़ी है उसका साइज क्या है वो नहीं बता सकता लाइडार जो है वो आपको इवेंचुअली जो मैंने आपको पॉइंट क्लाउड दिखाया था वो एक्चुअली पूरा सिर्फ आपको बहुत सारे इन द एंड जो लाइडार का आउटपुट है वो ये नहीं है कि ये साइकिल है ये क्या है लाइडार का आउटपुट सिर्फ बहुत मिलियंस ऑफ डॉट्स हैं इन द वर्ल्ड एंड द वे दैर इट डज इट के वो ए, वो लाइट बहुत सारे लाइट के पार्टिकल्स भेजता है एंड देन एवरी सिंगल ऑफ देम रिफ्लेक्ट्स एंड कम्स बैक टू इट वो सेंस करता है वापस उसको देन द दिस टाइम इट टुक टू गो एंड कम बैक उससे वो गेस करता है कि देयर इज अ सॉलिड थिंग इन दीस मेनी मीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम मी और वो अगर फर्ज करो उस सॉलिड थिंग पे एवरी मिलीमीटर पे अगर बहुत सारे पॉइंट्स उसको लाइट मार रहे हैं देन ऑल आर कमिंग बैक तो परसेप्शन स्टैक की रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है कि उन पॉइंट्स को कोरिलेट करना कि यार ये जो साथ साथ मुझे दो लाख पॉइंट्स मिले थे दे इज प्रॉबली बिलोंग टू इस वन थिंग तो एंड देन इट ट्राइज टू ड्रॉ कि यार ये ये एक चीज है और इसकी शेप ये है एंड देन इट ट्राइज टू कैमरा का इमेज के कैमरे में इस जगह पे इस तरह की चीज थी एंड देन इट ट्राइज टू डू द सेंसर फ्यूजन एंड देन फिगर आउट की ये साइकिल था ये गाड़ी थी ओके सो व्हाट यू आर सेइंग इज के लाइडार एक पॉइंट बेस्ड आपको इमेज की प्रेजेंस या ऑब्जेक्ट की प्रेजेंस दे रहा है और फिर कैमरा जो है mm-hmm. वो भी तो आपको वीडियो फीड दे रहा है तो उसका फ्रेम जो है वो उसको कोरिलेट करके देन द परसेप्शन ट्राइज टू फिगर आउट कि ये चीज क्या है कितनी बड़ी है एक है कि दो है मूव कर रही है yes. नहीं कर रही है यस तो बेसिकली वो डिफरेंट टाइप की इंफॉर्मेशन आएगी रेडार से फॉर एग्जांपल वेलोसिटी इंफॉर्मेशन ज्यादा एक्यूरेट आ जाएगी कैमरा uh, से आपको एक्चुअली उस चीज का इमेज एक्यूरेट आ जाएगा और लाइडर से आपको थ्री डी डेप्थ आ जाएगी उसकी तो वो तो यूज करेगा इन तीनों चीजों को तो एक और सवाल इसी से रिलेटेड है कि अगर इफ इट्स बैड वेदर एंड इमेज या लाइट नहीं है तो लाइडर एंड कैमरा बोथ आर अफेक्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ बैड वेदर इन विच केस डू यू हैव अ थर्ड फॉल बैक ऑप्शन इफ इट्स रियली बैड वेदर बैड वेदर में कैमरा इज बैड लाइडर इज नॉट because lidar lidar does not depend on outside light wo khud se light emit kar raha hai to isliye lidar is not dependent on bad weather radar is also not dependent on bad weather bad weather only camera is mostly dependent on bad weather to uh-huh. usse kya hoga ki yes bad weather se aapki kuch information you lose to wo jo perception stack ke jo wo honge uh, probabilities wo thodi si kam ho jayengi but it will still be able to detect most of the things using lidar and that's part of the reason companies want to use lidar and they think, don't think that sirf camera se in kind of information mil sakti hai because they they know ke camera ka low light mein ya uh, uh, bure weather mein camera does not perform very well okay then one more question ke what about uh, once you have autonomous driving mm-hmm. then can you get to high speed autonomous travel like 200 miles to 600 mile an hour Mm-hmm. so is that something in our uh, kind of a uh, vision to happen within the next few years yeah uh, once we get really good at self driving and everyone is driving uh, are we going to see that direction or are we going to see flying cars um that's a good question uh, though a speed ka hai i think for the foreseeable future a gaadi ban bhi gayi for example aaj ek new new feature is gaadi mein aata hai How, 
everyone else in the world to get that feature or to replace their cars will be decades and decades right even if agar aaj sasti bhi ho jati hain self driving cars that means there will always be case jahan pe there is a other, there are other humans driving the car so you cannot drive on 200 300 miles agar aapke ird gird ki gaadiyan jo hain wo slow chal rahi hain so you have to be on the follow the same rules so for the foreseeable future uh, aapko uh, for unless ke wo separate tracks ho self driving gaadiyon ke liye then yes Uh, of course, they will come with their own technological uh, problems. For example, up, up, your the algorithms are. Who, if 100 milliseconds, we do it. Who, you might have to do 200 milliseconds, 300 milliseconds. But that's just an incremental improvement. But main, who will be the regulations or who will be the stopping factor? Okay. Then another question related to. Um, um, so, how good are these uh, predictions? For mm-hmm. example, a question is if. Uh, uh when they recognize that it's a pedestrian mm-hmm. can they go down to the level of uh, the facial expression of that individual ke wo hans raha hai ke gusse mein hai ke wo phone pe baat kar raha hai to uske chalne ki ya road pe aane ki probability kam hai zyada hai to what degree are they doing the um, a, a behavioral assessment of a pedestrian so uh, yeah very good question and then yahan pe hai ki every single company has a different stage of their expertise ke kitna sophisticated unke algorithms hain um to jo facial expression for example gaze ke wo direction kis taraf face kar rahe hain niche dekh rahe ke upar dekh rahe hain that's a very high density information jo ke har waqt available nahi hoti for example camera jo hai wo bahut dur se ye cheez detect nahi kar sakta aap zara kareeb aa jaye to kar sakta hai lidar jo hai wo aapke facial expressions nahi bata sakta wo itna high density nahi hai to but at the same time there are research uh, happening jisme wo uh, gaze ya even for example distracted pedestrian is a is a label ki there is a pedestrian this is distracted is not looking at you to aap usse fir kuch kuch apne behave kar sakte hain to it's i think it's a spectrum slowly slowly you'll get more and more uh, sophisticated but for now most of the things are not using uh, facial expression i would say but they are using their gaze they are using their direction or they are using some information if they are distracted or not okay uh, then a couple of uh, questions we'll just try to wrap this up uh, uh, both are industry related mm-hmm. one is um, is there an a body which is trying to standardize the software stack and the interfaces and apis and all of that अक्रॉस द वेरियस वेंडर्स या अगर आज कोई यूनिवर्सिटी कहती है कि जी हम इसमें से एक पीस के ऊपर कुछ काम करना शुरू कर रहे हैं सो इज देर अटैंडाइजेशन बॉडी विच इज हेल्पिंग गेट दैट मूविंग अलॉन्ग इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे नहीं देर आर समाइवेटली समीज आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट कि हम अपनी एक कोलेब्रेशन बना लेते हैं and then we should come up with some interfaces. But उसका भी goal is less about के plug and play systems. उसका गोल इज मोर अबाउट सेफ्टी एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी कि अगर फर्स्ट करो अगर हर कंपनी ने अपने नंबर शेयर करने हैं गवर्नमेंट के साथ हाउ सेफ इज देयर सिस्टम व्हाट लैंग्वेज शुड दे यूज व्हाट आर द मैट्रिक्स दे शुड यू यूज टू माय ईयर इट सो उसमें भी अभी तक गवर्नमेंट लेवल पे या इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे कोई एफर्ट्स इतनी हो रही तो व्हाट आई एक्सपेक्ट के सबसे पहले यूरोप से आएंगी बिकॉज़ दे आर द यूजुअली मोर स्ट्रिक्ट अबाउट द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस तो दे माइट कम अप फ्रॉम अ गवर्नमेंट लेवल यूके लेवल या यू नो यूरोप लेवल पे शायद वो करें but actively as such uh, it's up to the individual companies to figure that out at this moment okay uh, then another question is uh, related to if there is there a simulator so if you don't have all the hardware mm-hmm. uh, but you want to work on the algorithmic side of this the machine learning side of it uh, are there simulators that can generate the sensor output so you can just work on the software side of it very good question so that's a field that has been extensively used a b recently actually i am pichle 2 mahine se main bhi isi pe kaam kar raha hu which is uh, eventually you cannot drive on the road all the time so simulator plays a big big role on that in that to do cheeze hain ek to ye ke you cannot drive all the time and b they are jo the problem is actually this is a tail end ke jo problems hai na that will be toughest to solve ke jo aap bahut rare jo cases dekhte hain so if you see it very rarely then you cannot know ki aap us pe kisna perform karte hain then simulator actually also plays to simulate the environment as well for example like pedestrian diagonally aapke samne ekdam se bhagta hua aa gaya aapne agar actually wo kabhi case gaadi test karte hue nahi dekha to you won't be able to know how to handle that lekin simulator mein then you can simulate that scenario and then maybe a million different uh, uh, permutations of it and then test it and optimize your car uh, or behavior accordingly so simulator plays a big role यूजली लोग क्या करते हैं कि कुछ कुछ चीजों को कहते हैं सिंथेटिक सिमुलेशन विच इज के पूरा सीन उसे सिमुलेट करते हैं 
कुछ चीजों में वो कहते हैं देर लॉग सिमुलेशन वो अगर एक्चुअली आपने जो रोड पे चीजें देखी थी दे रीप्ले दैट बैक एंड बैक अगेन विद सम स्लाइड वेरिएशन एंड देन सी के हाउ वुड योर न्यू स्टैक वुड वुड रिएक्ट अकॉर्डिंगली जो सेंसर सिमुलेशन है वो भी होती है वो अभी इतनी सोफिस्टिकेटेड नहीं है बट या सम कंपनी आर डूइंग सेंसर सिमुलेशन बाय दैट कि वो लाइडार का इनपुट भी सिमुलेट करें कुछ कंपनीज कर रही हैं और कुछ अभी उस स्टेज पे नहीं है बट या सिमुलेशन प्लेज बिग बिग रोल ओके देन अ कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चंस देयर इज अ टर्म यूज्ड काउंटर फैक्चुअल डेटा आई डोंट थिंक यू यूज्ड इट आई कैन मेक सेंस ऑफ व्हाट दैट प्रोबब्ली मींस बट uh there there is three questions related to data one is about counter factual data generation uh what's the future of that another question is around um, the data and security of this uh, and then the third one is uh, what we see in the movies ke wo remotely car hack ho gayi aur wo chalna shuru ho gayi so can you just shed a little bit of light on data privacy security uh and then the counter factual data generation um uh, for, for the autonomous cars so counter factual generation i am not familiar with that term uh, but if i had to guess uh basically jo uh, it's it's like a negative examples maybe ho sakti hain ki agar jo actually you feed it uh, the the wrong examples and to figure out how would the uh, vehicle pay behave but since i don't know about the terms so i won't go, we can take that offline afterwards बट जो दूसरा सिक्योरिटी है येस देर विल बी कंसर्न अराउंड दैट बिकॉज इफ द कार इज कनेक्टेड टू द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड देर इज ए पॉसिबिलिटी मोर देन जीरो परसेंट चांस समन कैन हैक दैट तो फॉर नाउ द सम कंपनीज आर एक्टिवली इन्वेस्टिंग टू दैट बट दैट्स समथिंग आई थिंक सम कंपनीज आर थिंकिंग इवेंचुअली वेन देर मैस प्रोड्यूस द वहीकल्स दैन देव टू वरी अबाउट दैट टेस्ला फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे दे डू uh competitions where they ask people to hack they hack their teslas and then they pay uh, those people to who come up with something um so yes there that's another way to to figure out the security and privacy so privacy is different privacy is jake jo aap jo data collect kar rahe hain jo bahar log hain unki shaklein nazar aa rahi hain unke behavior nazar aa rahe hain so they they follow the same pattern as google maps ya wo street view wagera jo lete hain so there are some city or government rules uh kuch mein it's okay to take those pictures and use them because it's a public space which may it's not um so it's uh, yeah subjective okay um then another question is maybe a little bit more specific we going to try and close on that one um so the question is how important is lidar to ssds do you think we can build a full ssd on cameras only uh ssds on cameras only uh i i don't know isme ssd ka unka matlab exactly kya hai uh but if if they are thinking oh i if they are thinking ke self driving systems um uh, to uh, basically aap bana sakte hain ki nahi so that's the industry debate right now pretty much every single player other than tesla uh, thinks it's not possible to do it on ca- based on camera only tesla is the only player uh, who is thinking of uh, or who is who, who is claiming that they can do it with cameras only and part of the reasons i mentioned this low uh, low light different weather conditions uh, lack of uh, accurate depth information those are just some of the uh, hurdles of doing it with camera only but there is active research going on there but every every single other company is using lidars and they are expecting the cost of the lidars will actually go down eventually so it will it will make sense so tesla is not uh, there are multiple articles around that i can share some resources as well which go into further details that if they, they take the exact same scene and then they compare between the two ke lidar aapko kitni information deta hai aur camera kitni deta hai aur kis cases mein there is not even possible ke camera bata sake ke whether this was a pedestrian or someone else or even detect kar sake that there was something in front of the car agar sirf camera ke uh, ho so there are there are some um, some articles and research papers around that okay so then uh, we will um, close the session now um, thank you very much uh, usman this was extremely useful uh extremely knowledgeable uh and uh, we can see ke self driving car is more of a software problem uh and uh, no longer a mechanical engineering problem i guess <laughs> mm-hmm. yes um so so thank you very much for your time uh, i also want to thank all the participants we had a very yes. uh, uh active uh, session which is which is always a good thing uh and uh Uh, would you like to share your email if people have follow up questions or if they want to yes. have a more 
Uh, um, you want to just uh, type that up on the screen or something um, that people can make a note of it? Yes, let me try to do it right now. So to all the participants, uh, thank you for the participation. I think this was a session well done, uh, well participated, and uh, I guess uh, um, informative and um, provided a lot of learning. Feel free to send us emails on other topics you would be interested in. We will be able to find uh, our alumni are doing great things uh, everywhere in the world, and uh, we will be able to reach out to them and find you the right content and the right presenter. Uh, so you can learn from them. Uh, I, I would also like to thank everyone because I think uh, this was very active. I uh, the, this question you guys asked are very relevant, and uh, you know very uh, very active session. I really like that. And uh, I think in order to learn about anything, you, uh, curiosity is the first thing. And you guys by showing up, you guys showed that you were curious and you asked the right questions. And I hope this was uh, uh, this was useful for you. And then uh, these are my email addresses. Um, uh, easy to remember is Osman at lift.com and uh, Gmail Kabi uh, Muhammad Osman at gmail.com. Feel free to send me any questions, anything. I would be more than happy to uh, to provide any uh, you know any help that I can. So okay, I have a reminder here to give back control to Numan. So right, thank me. you. So we have the information. We have a YouTube channel uh, where you can uh, get a recording.